what's up everyone welcome on back to my channel uh if you are new welcome on in i am Cinderella, and today i am gonna kind of help you guys get into building in the sims so if you are new right and you just downloaded the game you made your sim you even got your sim a house but this house is not what you have been envisioning <laughs> for your sims to play in. This is not the house of your sims dream. You want to be able to create something that is your own style, your own idea of how you want your sims to live. So, of course, the new thing we have here is Emily. And Emily is a part of the help center and basically emily just tells you certain things to get you started right so you have two options you have a tutorial for the build and buy objects and then you have to view your build mode lessons so basically it's just more reading emily doesn't talk to you so <laughs> I'm going to talk to you for Emily. So the first section of this video, we're going to go through this tutorial and we're going to do it together. Okay. So she's talking about buying objects. You can buy, sell, place, and customize objects for your Sims and their homes using the catalog menu below, which is this over here on the side, all the way to your left hand side. All objects cost simoleons, and simoleons is money. So watch your wallet when you go on a spending spree. So because we bought this property here, you know, my sim started out with, I think, about $20,000. Um, and, you know, the money got deducted because we have this house and we have this property. So what's left over? $6,732. So we have that amount of money to, let's say, decorate the house as we please. But this house already comes furnished. So what you can do, okay, I'm gonna close up Emily for a second. What you can do is, if you don't like the way this house looks at all, as far as decorating or decorations, you can simply click and then just come right here to sell and it will give you money back into your account. So think of this money um, over here as your personal bank account. So I don't like, you know, this green refrigerator. I can simply click on this refrigerator, slide it over here to sell, and it tells me I'm gonna get $300. So that is how you would gain more money to be able to buy exactly what you like. She's gonna show you your catalog navigation. She says, use the buttons on the left, which I just showed you, to open a different part of the catalog. Hoover over a button to learn more. Click a button to open. So basically, this is your build. It simply says build, and it opens up basically your walls and, 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 and how to get started, okay? So you browse objects by using visual representation of a house so meaning your windows your doors your walls your roofing your flooring your your fencing your stairwell all that stuff of your exterior built of your home okay so the next thing is objects by room so we click on that and you so you're able to click on parts of the house below to view related items so here, there's the kitchen. So I click the kitchen and it has a outline of the kitchen objects all lined up. So, you know, you click here, it says refrigerators. You go into that and it opens up uh, all your available refrigerators that you have, um, especially if you have more than one pack. Everything that's in all the packs that you have will be in this screen right here. So objects by function use the drop down menu browse objects by function meaning oh i just want decorations or i want appliances or electronics or show all show all will show every single object 
from every single category, okay? But if I don't want to show all, say I just want lighting. I want to change the lighting in my home. I want to buy a lamp, okay? And then last thing Emily is trying to tell you is your household inventory. This is where you store and retrieve objects for later use. So it has like this cardboard box that basically represents, you know, everyone who moves, they put their items inside a cardboard box for storage. And this is where all your items will be that you, you know, you either don't want to use, you don't want to sell, and you just want to keep for later or some special occasion or something. Okay, so let's see what Emily's going to tell you next. All right, and Emily now is going to show you that you can search things on your own. So she says, you can search for objects in the category. Try typing in desk to see what you get. Okay, so let's type in desk, D-E-S-K. And when I put in the word desk, what comes up is a list of all desk options from all types of categories. Next, selecting objects with left click if you hover over an object the color swatch will show on the left of the object click the color swatch to pick out a color so this is what Emily is trying to say so I'm gonna go to floor lamps okay so let's say I want to buy a floor lamp uh, let's say this one I'm gonna hover over it that's what she means just placing your mouse right on top of the object and then it kind of, well, it kind of, it does show you the uh, name of the object, how much it costs, a little small description, and then it tells you some vital information, how much power consumption it uses, okay? And that's important because when you have electronics and lighting, just like in real life, what happens when you have them on in your house all day it brings up the electricity bill so yeah sims do have bills to pay as well so looking at that down there below will really help you out in the future when it comes to your billing okay so let's say i want this um but i don't like that particular color that is showing so right here these are called swatches and these are the different colors that each object comes into comes in. So I can basically pick whichever color I like. So if I want dark brown, I click the dark brown. I put it wherever I want it. I want to place it here and I just left click to purchase. And there you go. You see the $80 that has came out of my little bank account on the side so and basically that's it now suppose I don't want that object I made a mistake and I don't want this I simply left click on the object again and I just bring it right back to sell and I get my $80 right back green means that it has been added to your account red means it has been deduct it from your account. Okay, so let's see what Emily is saying next. Emily now is telling you how to rotate and place an object. So we basically just placed an object, but I'm gonna show you how to rotate it. So let's go right back to that lamp that we have. And in order to rotate the object, um, you can right click with your mouse. So I'm right clicking. I'm hitting my mouse and I'm just going around in a circle. Or I can press my comma button on my keyboard. Or the period on my keyboard. And of course you left click to confirm placement. So that's where I want to place it. And bada boom bada bing. Okay, so now she's going to show you guys the main building tools, okay? These are your main tools in build mode. From left to right, they are select or H. Make an object 
or an element active. So this is, you know, like my pointer, my cursor. And that just means that I have the ability to touch and select items if I want to by having that. Okay, so the next thing is the eyedropper. And what the eyedropper does is copy an object. So let's say I like this little table, but I want to buy another one. And I don't want to waste any time looking in this menu down here. I just want to click it and I just want to go. So I'm going to take the eyedropper. I'm going to touch this side table or end table i'm gonna click it my left click and then look it has multiplied it has cloned itself so now we have another end table and what happens when i left click and place it it deducts the money it's 65 dollars. okay so that's how that goes and the next tool is called your design tool it changes objects color so i'm going to click the design tool or or you press the letter r on your keyboard so i'm going to click that and i'm going to click on this end table what happens it brings up the swatches it brings up the swatches and i can simply go over the swatches and it changes as i go over each swatch well, we missed this one. This was the sledgehammer. And the sledgehammer, or the letter K, removes an element or object. So let's say I don't want the end table. I simply take my sledgehammer, left click on it, bam, it's gone. And green, I have been refunded my $65. All right, so the next main tools is your undo and you redo. And I wanna undo what we just did. So I'm gonna click undo. Guess what? My table's back and the money has been deducted. But oh no, you know what? Oh, I want, I wanna sell it again. I'm just going to do redo. See that? All right now. <laughs> and this right here is saved to your library. So when you're all said and done, and you've built your house to the way that you want it. You click on here and what happens is you save it. The next tool that um, Emily is trying to tell us is the move the house to or you on your keyboard. Reposition your house. That's what it does. So right here it moves the house. So I'm clicking on that. I'm going to move my house. So when I want to move the entire house, I just click the rooftop. Okay, that's coming a little closer. There we go. And this is the move option. So you can move it, obviously, wherever, you know, it turns green. If you have the cheat bb.move objects on, you can probably move it anywhere you like. But for right now, you would move it where it is green or not move it at all. You can just simply cancel it right here, right down below. You can just cancel, okay? So the next object is called bulldoze. Flatten the terrain or the entire lot. And then the next thing is, of course, is the time of day or you just press L on your keyboard. It changes the time of day. So right now it says morning. If I left click, afternoon, left click again, evening, left click again, night, and then left click again, back to morning. Now, when you are doing this in build mode, it doesn't change the time of day in live mode. Live mode is going to remain where you left off at, okay? So don't, don't you worry. Don't worry at all. You're not changing the time of day. All right. So let's see what else Emily has to say. That's all that Emily has to say. That is it. That is what you guys get, okay? That is what you get um, from Emily. And Emily, I think she did a really good job. She really did. So, but I'm going to teach you right now 
how to build a basic home. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to do, and I'm just going to take you step by step the way that I do things, okay? Um, as you build and as you go along, as you gain more experience, you are going to be more comfortable and you're going to be able to do things your way. Now remember, there is no right and there is no wrong way of building. Everyone builds differently, okay? So keep that in mind. Don't ever think that what you are doing is wrong and it doesn't look right. It is going to be perfectly fine because this is the way that you want your house. All right, so I want to start building. I hate this build. No offense. <laughs> it's not my style. So I'm going to what? What do you, what do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to bulldoze it, right. I'm going to bulldoze it. So I'm going to click on the bulldozer and I am going to click on bulldoze lot. Left click and before you make everything official, there's always a pop-up menu, there's always a pop-up notice and it will tell you, bulldoze this lot basically. Like, are you sure you wanna bulldoze this lot? Bulldozing will wipe the lot clean but you will not be able to undo this action they're telling you you cannot go back after this so are you ready are you truly ready to get into the building mode i think you're ready if not you wouldn't have clicked this video all right so we said okay the house is gone your sim is standing there at an empty lot now Obviously, we have the outline of the old house. So how do we get rid of that? You go right back to Bulldoze. And then you go to Bulldoze Terrain. And it's all gone. Fresh start. Okay, so the next thing we're going to go do is go into this house over here on your left-hand side of the screen. And we're going to click, well, left-click. Remember, everything's a left-click. You're gonna left click build. Okay, great. So now we have brought up the main building items, okay? And the first thing that they always show you is a wall because a home begins with a wall. Now this tool, the wall tool, um, basically it just starts with one wall. All you're doing is sliding over. And as you are building a wall, you see the amount of money is taking is $60 per wall. Yeah, it, it's a lot for a wall. So you can go any way you want. You can come down and you know, you could just slide it down. You could build as many walls as you like. You could connect them. You can, you don't have to connect them. It doesn't matter. You're doing all of this. This is how you build with the wall tool. Okay, you see how I just made a room? But you know what? I don't want none of this, so I'm going to what? What did I tell you before? We're going to undo it. So you're going to undo, 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 undo. Or if you just don't want to undo, you can take that sledgehammer, baby, and knock these walls right out. So you are just holding down your left mouse and you're going right across. You're highlighting the wall. When the wall is yellow like that, that means it's going to disappear and you are knocking it down. That's what you're doing. So here we go. Going across, knocking it down. Going across and knocking it down. Now we're starting fresh. Okay. The way that I like to build, I like to use this room tool. And it gives me the option to basically build my home room by room. And this is, let me, let me just show you what I mean, okay? So I'm thinking to myself right now, and this is called the grid. All these little boxes, and it keeps you in line, just like a coloring book. It makes sure that you are in the line, not out of the line, and it lines this whole grid is the whole lot. This is where you can, can build on. Now, the way to get rid of that, which I don't know why you would, 
because it's it's only to me getting rid of the grid is only good if you have a home and you want to take pictures and put it on instagram or put it on twitter or whatever or tiktok or whatever you want to do but for now this grid remains on because it is very helpful when you are building but i'll tell you the trick to take it off you just press the letter g on your keyboard bam it's gone oops i want it back on again press the letter g my grid is back on okay so getting back to building i want to start and i want to build the front of my house so like i said i like the room too because you can build it room by room and i want to go ahead and build let's say my living room i want my sim to come into the home and the first thing that that they enter is the living room so how big do i want my living room eh, not so big it's always good to start off with i'll say approximately five squares and bring it five squares down one two three four five and what do i have i have a box now what if that is not big enough what are you going to do you're going to click on that box that you just built okay now this is don't get nervous you you're not gonna mess nothing up i'm gonna click on this box and i am going to these here are like little arrows and all i want to do is extend it I want to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to left click on this arrow and I'm going to slide it over. Just one more column, just one more. Perfect, I think that's the perfect size for my living room. Now what's the next thing I wanna do? So I'm just envisioning, you know, this house, okay? And on my right hand side of my home, of my living room i want my sim to have a bedroom i want them to have a bedroom off the right hand side of the living room so i'm going to take my room tool okay and i am going to go from here and i'm going to make it four grid squares up and then i'm going to do four grid squares over and that will be my room size all right now you see how this is coming along you see you see what we're what where i'm going with this okay now what about a bathroom turn around the screen and i want to come behind here now i want my bathroom i want my bathroom connected to my bedroom but I also want it connected to the living room as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my room tool or I'm just gonna do the wall tool. Let's do the wall tool for now. And so this is my living room, right? And I want my bathroom to be basically over here. So what I do is take my room tool and I am having it connected from the living room and I am going to have my bathroom. I'm gonna go about, mm, I'm gonna go three squares, okay? And now I want it to come over three more squares just so that, I'm gonna turn my, my screen, I'm going to have it come over so that now I can connect it to the bedroom see what I'm doing and I'm just gonna go two two grid squares up and there you go so now when I put in a door it will connect the bathroom to the living room and to the bedroom okay now what's the last thing I have to do I have to do a kitchen I need space for my kitchen and guess what our sim is right in the kitchen and she is in the perfect spot 
she really is so i'm going to take my wall tool and i'm just going to get my wall tool and i'm going to go up three square right here and i'm going to go over four to where it connects to the bathroom and she's inside that's it so i have this home right now i don't have any doors i don't have any windows so let's let's figure that out let's let's the next step let's do a door let's find the door okay so <laughs> here is your door too so you have tall doors you have medium doors and you have small or short doors and you always start out with a short door because it depends on the on the size of the wall okay if i click the square right here it also tells you short wall medium wall and tall wall so if it's on the medium wall what can you use you can use a short wall but you can also use the medium wall you cannot use a tall wall you get what i'm where i'm going so if i have a short wall how, what kind of door can I use? I can only use a short door. I cannot use a medium door unless I go up to a medium wall. So I always like to start out with short walls. I think medium walls are okay. I think medium walls are great for a certain style of home. I think medium walls are really good for a community build meaning like restaurants or um, gyms or you know those type of style of builds but let's stick with the short wall and let's get ourselves a short door one and it's basically the same thing and here's my smaller door now you can put your door anywhere you could put it over here you can uh, you know but this is where we want to come in so I'm going to put my door right about here all right now let's go to windows okay so now we are in windows and we're gonna have to figure out which type of window we want for our house so we have a lot of choices and of course um, as you go on into this catalog um, the windows get more expensive so we want to kind of save money. So we have $13,000. So we're kind of, we're in a good spot here. But, you know, remember, we also have to buy furniture. So I'm just going to go with this door. This is called the Almost Secure Safety Window and it is only $50. Now, uh, if you click this right here, It'll show you just like the door and every other object inside of all these cat cat catalogs. And it has a ton of swatches that you could choose. So we can go with red or we could just go with white. I'm thinking let's just go with white. And you could basically place your wall anywhere. Now, here it gives you an option. You can pick by window or you can pick by room personally i never pick by room because and i'll show you if you pick by room what's going to happen is when you click this and you may think this is short oh this is this is this is great this is quick this you know i, I i've done this watch it puts the window in the entire room but it may not be exactly where you want it. I mean, it worked out very nice. <laughs> but it depends on the house. You know, let's say if I put it here, I may not want two windows in the corner over there. Actually, four windows. They're giving you four windows at once. I don't want all these windows in this room. So that's why I don't do it by room. I prefer to do it by window because it gives me the option to be able to singly place the window where I want it. If I just want two windows, then I'll just have two windows, okay? 
All right, so let's go back to doors because we're going to need doors inside of our home and doorways as well. So we need to get inside our kitchen. So one thing you can do is either you can have a, a doorway like this one and she's able to come in and out or if you want your home to look like most of the homes nowadays where they have um, an open concept, you can go right back to your wall tool. Okay, you, you got your wall tool, right? But then you're going to click control on your, on your keyboard. You're going to hold down control and you're going to go across. As you see, as I'm going across, the lines are turning yellow and yellow means what gone baby it means it's gone and there you go it's completely gone so now you have an open concept so now in you know in your head you know this is going to be your kitchen area so you know it's open concept you have your living room you have your kitchen it's, and that's it okay so but i i need a door for my bathroom so we're gonna get a door um we're gonna have like a basic door that you know that a typical home will have for the bathroom so i am going to pick this door it's a simple two panel door it's actually 95 dollars and what color door should i have i'm just gonna stick with white because the outside is white and i'm gonna have white doors or if you want your doors inside, they could be brown. And that's going to be the door to my bathroom. Now I'm gonna turn this around because now I'm going to need a door for my bedroom. So you can have the same exact door and you can place it right here. Or if you wanna get a little fancy with it, you can have double doors, baby, double doors for your bedroom. Okay, and make sure you get the same color as your bathroom door. You don't really want them to be different doors all throughout your home. So you can do double doors here. Now, over here, as you can see, uh, it really is not enough room for me to really put a door. I mean, I can, but it's going to be awkward for a door to go. I mean, I can have it there, but you know, just the look of it for me personally, I think I'm going to extend this wall just one over. I remember I got, guys, I told you to click on the arrow right here and just move it over one. It's gonna take off my window, but that's okay. Yellow means it's gone, remember? All right, I feel much better now because now I have more room for my door all right so now we everything's done we have our windows we have our doors so the next step would be i mean if you want to concentrate on the outside we really need to do the roofing oh it's roofing time oh boy that's a doozy <laughs> and oh boy Everybody's a little bit nervous about roofing. But, you know, don't worry about how it looks. This is your first home. Don't worry about it. And I'm not really in this video. I'm not going to go really deep into the roofing. We're just going to do the basic roofing tutorial here along with the rest. Just so that we can get through this home. Okay? So... For this home, what I want to do and what type of roofing I want is just a regular gable roof, you know, a regular roof. Um, you have different types of roofs. I will talk about it at another time, but for right now, we're going to do the gable roof. And I say roof because I'm from New York and that's how we talk. Okay. <laughs> what I do is I place my roof in the biggest square possible and i'm going to show you right now what i do to place my roofing so the camera view is a 
big part of placing your roofing and getting it correctly, okay? So you're gonna go to your camera tools right here and you see this very this square box, it says top down view. You're gonna click that. And now you are on top of the house, okay? You are now the roofer, you are on top of the house and you are going to place your roof in the biggest section of the house first. I'm gonna place it here, but I want it to be turned around. So this is where you turn your roofing around. So we're gonna turn it this way because this is the way I want my roofing. So now we're gonna have these arrows here and all you do is stretch it right across, okay? And then I'm gonna move this over and stretch it across. So you see how it has now taken the biggest section of the home all right so it doesn't end there it does not end there so now we have two pieces that are unroofed that we need to roof okay so i'm going to take the same type of roofing okay and i'm going to place it right here but this time i'm going to turn it around so it can face forward so now it is facing forward and I'm gonna stretch it here. And you know, the green outline tells you exactly where your roofing is going to be placed. So I stretch it out there and now I'm gonna stretch it out on the other side. I'm gonna bring it out, okay? So now it's placed. Don't worry about this. We will fix this when we are completely done. So now I'm gonna turn my camera around because we wanna come on this side of the house. All right? So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm doing the same roof. You don't gotta get all crazy and do all types of different roofs. Just stick with the one roof, it's all right. We got the gable roof and we are going to turn it around Okay, now don't worry about all the tricks and the trades and all that stuff. That will be in another video. We're going to just keep this basic and very simple. Okay, so I am now hitting this arrow key and I'm going to stretch it across. As you see the green highlighted square that's showing you where your roofing is going. So I'm coming right here. Now suppose I said, oops. Look at that, it's over, it's over. And that's why, you know, the grids are there as well to keep you lined up. So I just bring it on back, bring it on back. There you go, okay? So now, I see, see how it looks now? Everything is all in its place. Now, as you can see, there is a little bit of a gap, so. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So you click on your roof and you go back to your arrow. And it's nothing wrong with just stretching it and putting it inside. Okay, you see that? Now maybe I went a little too far, so I'm gonna go, go back just a little bit. There we go. Now, it may be too high, so I'm gonna take the top arrow and I'm gonna bring it on down. See how that is? You see what I'm doing? All right, now, I mean, if you want your roof to be super high like this, you can do that as well. Or if you want it low like that, you could do that as well. But remember, it has to line up with this roof as well. So whatever you do to this roof, you have to do the same to this roof so that it, um, it all matches. See that? Okay, so look, we did the roof and it doesn't look bad. I mean, there are different elements to it, obviously, you know, as you go on, but this is a basic roof. And guess what? When you are playing the game, do you see the roof? I don't see the roof. We don't care about the roof when we're playing the game. So don't stress over the roof. All right, so <laughs> don't stress over the roof. You don't see the roof, it's okay. Unless you, you know, you want to be an Instagrammer, you want to take pictures of your build, then you perfect your roof. Or if you want to build for other people, 
and put your stuff on the gallery, then you perfect your roof. Right now, you're keeping it very basic and simple for you. All right. So, the next thing I am going to do is roof trims, which is really simple because it's just the outline of the roof. Okay. Now, each, each one has a name and you're thinking like, oh, I can't put the square roof, uh, roof trim on this gable roof. That's not a square roof. That's not what they're talking about. I mean, it is, but it's, it's just a trim and it will look good no matter what you do. So, you know, there you go. I mean, there's your roof trim right there. And then you just, there's different swatches. You can put different colors if you like. So, it, it, you know, it does the same thing as all the other objects. You just click always on your left mouse and you just click and you paste your roof trim there. Now, over here is your roof. You're going to make fun of me because I say it wrong. Patterns. I, I'm a New Yorker, okay? This is how we talk. Uh, <laughs> now you have all your roof. You know, the way your roof looks, your you shingles, your shingles. Uh, that's what I call them. Different shingles on the house, different sizes, different colors, different textures. They have glass down below. You have hay. You know, let's say if you were in, let's say if you got um, cottage living. And cottage living is an um, expansion pack. And you, you know, your house is living on the countryside. You, you may want a hay roof or if you are living in a desert hot place you may want um these tile roofings you know like homes like down in florida if you're in, in the u.s or wherever you're from but right now we're gonna keep it simple we're gonna have and I, this is one of my favorites a uh, scalloped pine roof and it comes in different colors i like black and I'm just gonna click and paste. See that? And it changed the color of the roofing. So, hello, you guys are on your way to a big, beautiful home. Hello. So, I'm looking over here and I'm looking at the roof and yes, it's sticking out. So, the way that you want to bring it on in is you take these little, tiny little arrow tools, not the big ones, not these that we, we've been using is these here on the corner and you're gonna hold it and bring it on back just like that okay and you <laughs> yes just like that it's that simple and then you just bring it on back you see that perfect so don't freak out if you see that you just bring it on back all right so so let's um, paint the other side of the home. I'm gonna shift and hold and left click, all right? And you could do the same, or we can have something different. Let's have something different. Let's have a different um, type of, we could just go with brick up there. It could be just like this, or we can go with regular paint. Um, and we can do something, let's see, uh, something dark like that, or a little bit lighter. I like the light right here. I think that's good. Yeah, that looks good. And then you just do that on all the walls. So you just turn your, your camera around. And we're going to do that side as well. So if you do this side of the roof, the other side of the roof is going to be done as well. But this one is separate, so that's why you have to you do this one. And you know what? We're going to use the eyedropper, okay? Remember in the beginning, Emily was talking about the eyedropper. What does the eyedropper do? It copies. So I want to do the wallpaper on this corner side of the home. So I'm going to just click the wallpaper. It's called Scully's Office. And I'm going to click my eyedropper. And it's going to give me the wallpaper. See how I got the wallpaper? Now I'm going to shift and hold and left click and it's all done. Look at 
Look at that bad boy. Look at this house you guys are building. Look how fabulous that is. Now, for me, the home is too far up along the curb. I need, I need a walking path, you know. I don't want my home straight off the, the, the sidewalk. I want it a little further back. So, Emily showed us what to do. So, do you guys remember what to do? You click the move house tool right here on top or you press U on your keyboard and you select move house. So I'm going to select that move house and I'm going to hit my house and I'm going to take it and I'm going to move it and I want it. Oh, uh, let's see. I want it right about here. Yeah, perfect. And then I just click my select object arrow cursor type of thing. And there you go. Because we're almost done with the outside of the house. Okay, so I like this tree. This is one of my favorite trees. And it's only $35. And it's, well, <laughs> it's not my favorite tree now because I'm stuck in fall. It's fall time, guys. But... If it was spring or summer, this tree would look pretty beautiful. And, you know, we could place it there. We could place another one over here. Or one in the back, for like the backyard. Okay, and now we're going to get some bushes, so shrubs. So here we have trees, we have shrubs, we have flowers, we have rocks, and we have the option to show all. So I'm going to go into shrubs, which is basically like your bushes and stuff. And I'm going to take this one, which is called the high hedge. And I'm going to place it right along that side here. Do I want one here? No, I don't want one right here. I just want one right here. In front of the house right there. Um, and then... Of course, you can come right here to the wall sculptures and you can get yourself a flower box. Probably not any flowers. Oh, well, there is. Yay. And you can place your flower box right on your window. See how that looks? You can create your own walking path with the terrine tool. Um, and it, 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 it has circle and it has a square and you can adjust the size by moving it down this is the brush size so basically it's painting um so and you just you could just paint you holding down your left mouse key and you are just painting along or you can use flooring to make your own path as well all right guys one last thing i want to talk to you all about before we head out is filters and how important filters are and how helpful filters um, are to you when you are building in the game. So let's say I wanted to do flooring, for instance, and I have more than one pack, but I'm, I, I'm looking for a particular item and I just want flooring, let's say from a jungle adventure pack. I will come here on my right hand side and I will scroll all the way down. Well, depending on how many packs you have. I have basically all of them. Uh, I would, you know, just simply click Jungle Adventure and then it will filter out the flooring for me and it will just pop up and then I can place it obviously holding it. Shift down and then the left mouse key and there you go. That will be my flooring. But yeah, um, you know, and I'll get into more of the filtering when I make my next video. But filtering things really, really helps, especially if you're on a time crunch and you don't want to really like go through every single item or if you are building a certain type of style of a home, like let's say you are building like a Victorian home or a modern style home, you can always filter out because the filters over here are styles. Or if you're looking for a certain color, you can also do coloring and then if you ever download, let's say, um, custom content, you can also just filter out all your custom content. So filters are very, very handy. Please don't forget about them. And, you know, guys, let me know 
um, in the comments below, what do you want me to cover? Because when it comes to building, there are so many categories and so many steps. Um, let me know if you want me to focus on roofing, if you want me to focus more in interior decorating or landscaping or tips and tricks or um step-by-step -step guides just let me know what you are looking for and what you guys need more help in i am happy to help i want to thank you so much for joining me today if you are even you know if you've been around on my channel i'll I thank you guys for all your support. I thank you for even watching this tutorial. I mean, I know you guys are pros. You guys are experts already. But I hope in some type of way you learned a little something. Or at least I entertained you, you know, with my horrible pronunciation. <laughs> but if you are new, I'm so glad you're here. So if you can, you know, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell it will let you know whenever i upload any new content and if you want to learn more about building in the sims or just the sims in general come back to my channel all right and i will see you next time i'm simarella and i'm signing out bye guys oh, 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 oh,